The following contest is the Ring of Destiny match. The Ring and of Destiny. You're going to love this, Stan. We cooked up this a little scenario. You did, huh? Because we wanted to start 2022 with a bang. First six competitors will Listen be up. eliminated by over-the-top rules. Once four competitors remain, the match will turn into a four-way elimination match. Eliminations for Final Four occur via pinfall or submission. That's pretty innovative, man. The winner man. of the Ring of Destiny will receive a CSW championship opportunity against the winner of tonight's main event. Joey Avalon or Brew Baker in January. How about that? Man, you did good, man. It's you one did, of those situations great, like baby. on TV. But wait, there's more. There's more? That's it. Wow. Right now, Stan, we've got 10 of the brightest stars in the CSW Galaxy. And they are going to compete in that ring for the richest prize in the game. An opportunity in January at the season premiere to take on the champ, whoever it might be. And look at what look at the lineup. Blanco Loco, the international superstar. You gotta love him. Is it me or he's got some form of a Manga. That's Pikachu, yeah, that's damn the it. That's Pikachu, yeah. You know, when I was back in the 80s. That's Shades of Kylie Ray. It is. You know, back in the 80s, we had this stuff called Kinikuman. There were these little pink figures. In the U.S., they were marketed as muscle things. Stan, these things were Stan, precursors. Stan, I don't want to hear about your childhood with little pink figures. You that son of a gun. That sounds wrong on you every level. You son of a gun. Ladies I mean, and gentlemen, it, were you I'm not going to let the if general If you were manager. beaten, that would explain a lot. Well, I was beat. What I was trying to say is it's a precursor to the Pokemon thing. Here comes the pride of Englewood, Jax Johnson, along with Lando Calrissian, former owner-operator of the Millennium Falcon. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 That's no. Levi LaGuire. Yeah, Levi LaGuire, the greatest What the sports hell agent. is a LaGuire? What do you mean? That's his last name, sir. That's not a last name. That's a train wreck. What? Well, no, baby, no, let me, you know I, let me I liked it better when he was big business. Well, he is big business. What the hell's a LaGuire? What's is that like thing? La Brea, that new show on, a on NBC? I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't either. I'm allergic to TV. So right now you got Blanco Loco, Jax Johnson, and that's only two. And that match, if it was a singles match, would be off the chain. And let me tell you, he's the pride of Englewood. Yes. And that's a great community. I sold windows, doors, siding, and gutters there for many years. He is Southside, just like my legendary broadcast partner, C. Red. That's some great real estate Let in me that ask area. You this. I urge everybody to work their way in life, to work their way towards that beautiful area. And the bell is rung, and we are underway. Two men start, and men will be added as we go. Man, you think of some really cool stuff, man. Let me ask Let you me this. Ask away. You got Marche Rocket here. Yes. You got Ass and Jazz here. Yes, we do. We got we got C Red in the crowd. Yes. Why not bring C Red in and reunite the damn soul touches? I wish. I mean, if I'm back in 2022, I'm petitioning for that to happen. But how are you gonna get over all the stuff that's gone down between Ass and Jazz and Marche Rocket? If anybody can get those two back on the same page, it's the urban sensation C Red. It and is. right now, is. Blanco Loco and Jax Johnson are a flurry of activity. Man, he's got that fluid movement, that, that Blanco Loco. Whoa. See? There is no one working the day it's quite like, watch, like Blanco Loco. It's like watching a, a Kinikuman cartoon. Or some kind of anime. Both of these men. Did you ever see body Akira? control and skill like you've never seen. I gotta ask you, have you ever seen Akira, the manga, or the anime? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the movements of Blanco Loco. I, mean, I, I, have no like idea. I have no idea what you're saying. Speak he English. Ah, forget it. And here comes the absolute answer. Nick Cutler. He is the absolute this answer. This man is sinister. Nick 
Cutler is the villain of this story. Nick oh, Cutler God. is Lex Luthor in CSW. Nick and Cutler. right now, Nick Cutler is taking it to Blanco Loco, and he gave he gave Jax a free pass. He's looking for a little help. Nick Cutler was CSW champion for 100 days a few years ago. Can he do it again? Cutler was in the. He was in every single tournament that CSW has ever had. I'll have you know, in some useless trivia, useless for some, useful for me, as he picks up Blanco Loco in a suplex position, and he's holding him up there, shades of Harley race, he dropped him down, he had his, that blood rushing into his head. The gravity pulling that blood. Oh, the business is about to pick up. Mr. M80, half man, half amazing, six tool talent in a five two world. And a two time CSW heavyweight NWA champion. power superstar Marche Rocket. And Nick Cutler is down and Nick Cutler is not getting back up. Oh my God, did you see the height? Yeah, that foot he on almost Jacks. threw him onto the train tracks not far from the building. And Marche Rocket has cleaned house. And he is and asking the people to make some noise. It's now vested in this match. Oh yeah, they love Marche. The all day chant is occurring. Oh my God, this man is, this is a behemoth. Solomon Tupu has This a man great is all power. Year. He won the Futures Division Battle Royale in June, June the 26th of 2021, to be exact. And then he went on to face CJ Esparza and Garrison Creed, and now he is in the Spring of Destiny match. Solomon Tupu is a scary individual, and Marche thinking twice before he mixes it up with this monster. But he's nodding, he's ready. Jax Johnson comes out of nowhere, man. And as does Nick Cutler. Now we have a, a tag team situation of uh, the fittest because Tupu and Marche have to work together to stop the teammates that they seem to have become, yep, Jackson yep. Cutler. That's the type of match this is. Blanco Loco not silly, he's on the side. Shake from wrestling, the second man to ever win, become a CSW Grand Slam champion, having won the tag team championships. It's the king of khakis. The Metro Division Championship and the CSW he got, Championship. You know what, you know what, Stan? Tell me. The most important thing is Jake Andrews got me a great rate on my car insurance. He did? What's well, better than the loser? And there it is, the signature move. Jake Andrews came in hot, and here he is. This is gonna be harder to call than the Futures Royal. Well, let me tell you something. Jake Andrews is no stranger to these multiple man matches and overcoming them. He beat the entire CSW locker room to become the CSW champion years ago. Former Metro champion, the, the rivalry he had with Marco Anthony is something that legends are made out of. Oh, man. Yeah, after Marco Anthony stole the Metro Division Championship and held it hostage. Number seven, Operating in stations worldwide, the mercenary Garrison Creed, and this is exactly the kind of match that he flourishes in, because this is the guy the this is the guy the military sends into the places that nobody else wants to go, yeah. and I assure you, nobody wants to be in there right now. I Not sure with all don't. that humidity. Yeah, I don't want to be in there. I'm glad I'm over here. Garrison Creed has Jackson in sights. So precise. His offense precision is unbelievable. It's like a missile. And Solomon Soaring through the air. And, and these two have history. They most certainly do. And that history is repeating itself as they're hitting each other and still standing. Pride of Europe. And right now, we got a little bit of Polish power. You got it. He's the most electrifying man in all of Poland. 
Mario Pardua. He's the most electrifying man in all of professional wrestling. No, that's The Rock. No, that is not. That, that is not Dwayne. It is Mario Pardua. If you smut. No, I'm just kidding. Pan Pawłowski z Polsce, on patrzy się na wszystko, co on robi. Czemu? Bo Pan Pawłowski może przejdzie do CSW i opanuje. Let me ask you that. Does that and come he might just use Mario Pardua to do it. Does that come with fries or soup? It comes with soup. I would like the soup. The soup. Duck soup? The duck blood soup? Charlina? Let's get out of the kitchen. Back to the ring. Right now, Mario Pardua is being scraped along the, the up, and those are those ropes are not hollow inside. No, those they are, are not. ropes. And Garrison Creed has real is really doing a number on Pardua. Oh my God! We are about to have casualties. He's trying to eliminate. We are about to have casualties because the ice pick cometh. Vic Capri is an unstoppable force. Another former CSW champion himself. And Nick Cutler took the opportunity to take the upper hand on, on Capri before he actually even got into the ring. Two former members of the faction called the Burning, now no longer friends. Vic Capri is a living legend. Oh, absolutely. Vic Another Capri Windy City alumni. Is an innovator of violence like we have very rarely seen in this industry. Competing in death matches all over the country. We He's all sick. remember earlier this year what might be the match of the year was him versus Brubaker. July 16th. In that Chicago style street fight. They tore the they destroyed the ring. They destroyed the arena. And here comes the franchise. This man will be a champion one day. Former Bruce brother, former tag team champion, TJ Frickin' Steele is in the house and he's the 10th man. They saved the best for last, didn't they? One half of the Bruce brothers, one of the longest reigning tag team champions in recent history. Right now, you have 10 men in this match. Man, look at that physique. You would have thought that as the men were coming in, there would be some eliminations of, of some such. And nothing. These tough men are still in there. No eliminations. And you got to feel for Blanco and Jax, who started this whole thing off. Well, they got to be exhausted. Very exhausted. How, how could they possibly win this? But they're still in there. Harrison Creed, again, attacking his adversary, Solomon Tupu, kicking him in the back, and Tupu fighting back. T.J. Steele T. J. is Steele pointing. And Vic Capri. Yeah, he's talking to Vic Capri. And Mario Pardua. And Mario Pardua and pointing at Solomon Tupu and Harrison Creed. What? The enemy. Ah, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to eliminate Tupu by throwing him over the top rope. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and Marche Rocket is getting the same treatment. On the other side of the ring. And he just yeah. evacuated three men very presently. As and Tupu just blew up that pile. And they're staring at each other. They both know oh my what each other did. Marche and Tupu. Two behemoths. Now instead of tagging up with each other and eliminating everyone else and saving this for last, they just attack each other. But that's what happens when you got guys so angry at each other and the adrenaline is, adrenaline is you know, taking the best of them. Right the now the there's a mass of humanity in that ring. Anybody could win this match. One of these men will fight for the CSW championship in January. And right now, Blanco and Andrews right at center stage. Levi LaGuire has his attention drawn to the audience, arguing with the audience as his man Jackson. I Johnson. think that's a clip-on tie he's wearing. No, that's what I'm wearing. Are you wearing a clip-on tie? Uh, no, I'm kidding. It's some weird, it's, it's not a conventional tie. It's one of these things where. Levi is mixing it up with the crowd while his, his, his employee, his uh, his client is getting beaten up. And Tupu making a statement. And Mario Pardua can't see him. It's the Pardua bottom. Oh, he got kicked by Jax Johnson. Jax Johnson laying in the weeds. 
Oh, Jax. Oh, you don't turn your back on the ice pick. No. Well, and the ice no. pick drops him like a bad habit. Now, you see, Levi could have advised him. Oh, Not my even. God. Marche and Capri. Here we go. Power bomb. Oh, my God. Did you see the hang time? Marche. Yeah. Oh, spear. Spear by TJ Steele. Man, look at that physique, man. That guy, that's a lot of raw power right in the rib cage. Marche Mar Rocket might be yeah. hurt. Yeah, he's hurt for sure. Capri comes to his eight. Whoa, he's pointing him. Oh my God! Shades of Hulk Hogan in the ring by Garrison Creed. It's it's Creedomania. He drops the big leg. What you gonna do when the mercenary runs wild on you? And is dumped to the ground yeah, by Cutler, who's put him in the sharpshooter. Shades of Brett the Hitman Hart. He's got him in the center of the ring. Which is also called the Scorpion Deathlock. And there's a high knee by Andrews breaking up the sharpshooter. Man, and he told me, wait, you told me he got you a good deal on what kind of insurance? I got a good deal on my auto insurance. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm thinking of doing my life insurance through him too. No, 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 don't even think, they don't even go there yet. Especially, oh, this You're a young is man. awesome. Listen to the crowd. They're loving this. Educated feet of Jake Andrews finding their mark on Solomon Tupu. Tupu caught him. Oh, my oh, God. Is he going to eliminate him? He did. He eliminated him. Jake Andrews, the first man eliminated in this match. Mario Pardua. They are punching strike for strike. Pardua Tupu right in the center of the ring. That's a lot of mass. Ooh, a big headbutt. No! I did not want to see that. Tupu two? Oh. Everybody else nothing. Oh my god, Marche Chop, number one. All day. Double X handle by Jax Johnson into the back of Marche Rocket, negating his attempt to throw out Solomon Tupu, but he's got him in a fireman's carry. Marche's got Jax. Is he going to eliminate him? Jax Johnson Almost. getting a little help from his friend yep, outside. That's what he's there Levi for. Levi LaGuire. His agent. Oh, no. Eliminated because Marche has followed up on it. Martin. Now he's getting choked by Cutler. Levi LaGuire very angry that his client was eliminated. Just like that, man. Just like that. It could take a split second. You devised a really good match, GM. And it's burning on burning violence right now as Cutler has given Capri all he can handle. Is Cutler going to be eliminated? Cutler and Capri are in the danger. Oh, my God, both men. Both men the are in the wrong place the at the wrong time. This is a bad place to battle. You lose your balance and it's over. It's hit me, or, yeah, Blanco Loco's still in the corner. And he's getting and much needed rest. Cutler is gone. And the numbers are dwindling. Tupu caught TJ Steele. He's got him up. This could be it for TJ Steele. No. Nope. As TJ Steele held on. Oh, that might be it for him. They're fighting. TJ Steele's in a bad spot. Oh, oh my no, God. Capri eliminated eliminated, eliminated by Vic Capri. On accident, though. He was there going are no for accidents Tupu. in a match like this. It's every man for himself. I don't know. It looked like he, looked, he was thrown off by what he did. Not that he, not that he couldn't do it or didn't mean to. But you never know. M80, M80 Marche! And that's the first pinfall. 
Tupu has been eliminated. And then there were three. And Marche Rocket puts him down. Blanco Loco kicks out at the last possible second. Right now we have three men left. Marche Rocket, Vic Capri, Blanco Loco. And Blanco Loco has been in there since the beginning. Capri is taking it to Marche Rocket, the pin! Vic Capri just pinned Marche Rocket! And then there were two. A lackluster ending for the year for Marche Rocket. But he had a pretty good year. And Blanco Loco has been in there since the very beginning. Right now we have an international superstar versus a bona fide legend. Oh, he tried to oh eliminate Blanco him. Loco like almost eliminated himself. He shot back in with the recoil, catching Capri off guard. I'm telling you, it's like something out of the way he moves. Something out of a cartoon. Almost a three count. Kevin Woods Very right animated. where he needs to be. That's a two count. Oh, he dropped him! Oh, that might be it! Blanco got him! He did. Blanco Loco. What an upset. He started the, the match. The first man in the match and the takes match. it on home. Wow. Does that mean he gets a title shot? In January, at the season premiere, Blanco Loco will take on either Joey Avalon or the Filth King, Nick Brubaker. Wow. Might one, be the last match one, I ever one, set as one, GM. Two. What? Don't say that. Blanco Loco. What an incredibly impressive victory. And in January, Blanco either fights Brubaker or Avalon. And that match would be a, that, that's a reason to come back in January, I'll tell you that. Oh, it most certainly is. January 21st, 2022, here in Franklin Park. What a match, the, the Ring of Destiny, the first ever incarnation of this match. You know what? We might have to bring this back in the future. That was fun. My goodness, are you talking about time travel? The international superstar, Blanco Loco, gigantic victory. Another reference to the 80s, back to the future. I love it. My flux capacitor is in fact fluxing. Ha <laughs> ha.